Not to make sure. Good morning. Good morning. All right, we're going to get started in a second. Give me a minute so I can pull up our worksheets. Can y'all see my screen? Yes. See. 
Tierney, why you ain't call me yesterday? I had time. I couldn't find my work because my thing wasn't letting me log it to Clever. It was a hot mess. You need me to like email the stuff to you? Oh no, I found my uh, password. It was in my note. I had to find it. Okay. Where is? Oh, I know what I'm looking for. Just kidding. Okay, do you guys know what um worksheets we're gonna be doing today? No. All right. So which one are we doing first? Um, I'm going to do this one first. So prokaryotic, eukaryotic, and cell organelles first. Okay, prokaryotic, eukaryotic, and cell organelles. And if you want to go ahead and already download the other one, the other one is plant versus plant. Okay. So these are the two we'll be doing today. Pro and cell organelles and plant versus animal. A lot of this stuff is just repeating. So if you do it on this worksheet, it's literally filling the blank one. Okay. Wait. Did you get it? Oh, where are those at? This is on the Newton High School Weebly page. You see this website? These are the same things that I put on Canvas for you. All of those on Canvas? Um, no, only the ones that I've assigned, I've put on Canvas. These are all of them, though. Like, we just been picking what days we were going to do what. Oh. I forgot what I was just doing. Wait, what's the website called? Newton High School EOC. Weebly.com. Newton High School. EOC. Dot Weebly. Dot com. I just got an email. Okay. All right, you're good now? And then you type in biology and all of that stuff. Or else it's going to take you. It ain't even let me get on there. It says error. Did you put the dot in between these two? Yeah. Did you put the backslash and all of that stuff here? Oh, no. I emailed. Are we ready to go? Yeah. My mom looks at my son. Fun times. All right. So let's get started. The first one, like I said, that we're going to do is going to be prokaryotes, eukaryotes, and so on. I should see. All right. I got to get the masters. That, that didn't help. There we go. You can see this worksheet, okay? Is this what you guys see when you log in? I mean, excuse me, when you bring up the the page. Oh, to talk, if your mic is muted, if you hold down the um, space bar, it works like a walkie-talkie. So you just press the space bar and it will let you answer me. And you can still leave your mic muted, okay? And now you 
All right, so today we're going to compare and contrast the general structures of plant and animal cells and compare and contrast the general structures of prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. So first up, we need to note that we have two different types of cells. We have prokaryotic and we have eukaryotic. Um, if you were in my class, I said pro means what? Or pro rhymes with what? Uh, no. No, which means they have no what? Um, nucleus? No nucleus. Good job. So prokaryotes have no nucleus and no what else? Um, what else um, are the other structures that you see inside of eukaryotic cells? I'll give you a hint. What are all these things on the inside of these cells? What are they called? Uh, cells? Uh-uh. What are these called? Organs? Organelles. Organelles, okay? Okay, so when we're talking about prokaryotes, we said pro rhymes with no. Um, so we're talking about cells that have no nucleus and no organelles. When we're talking about eukaryotic cells, I told you, you rhymes with what? Um, uh, what is it? Pro is no, and you means. Right, take it back. If prokaryotes don't have a nucleus, do eukaryotes have a nucleus? Yeah. yeah there you go. Stop. I like y'all didn't see that. Oh, true. Nucleus, okay? So inside a, um, a eukaryote, you'll see a true nucleus, or I said if you were doing the rhyming one, you do, so they do have a nucleus, okay? Mm -hmm. So these are the big distinguishing characteristics between the two. If we're actually looking at this picture right here, and I'm going to blow this up. All right, so picture here is a prokaryotic cell. They're a lot smaller than eukaryotic cells, even though this has been blown up so you can see, um, you can compare the two, okay? Um, the structures that you see in common is that they both will have cell membranes. They both have cytoplasm, which is like the jelly that the um, internal cell content sit in, and they both have DNA. The difference between the two is that in eukaryotic cells, the DNA is going to be contained inside of a nucleus, whereas in a prokaryotic cell, just the area where the DNA is is known as the nuclear region. And then they both have ribosomes. What important process happens in the ribosomes? What do they make for the cell? Ribosomes make for the cell. Don't forget to press the space bar so you can talk. What ribosomes? Proteins. Good job. Ribosomes make proteins. So even though most prokaryotic cells don't have any other organelles, you will see that they do have ribosomes. Right. Okay. So on that. Um, one thing that I definitely want to make sure that you guys knew, we're talking about eukaryotic cells. Plant and animal cells are examples of eukaryotic cells. Um, from my class, we covered classification ago. So the fungi and the fungi and the protists technically fit here too. But what I want you guys to focus on is simply the animal cells. Just looking at these two pictures. What are just some things you can see just looking at these two pictures? Some differences that you see. Uh, they, they got a nucleus. They both got a nucleus. Okay, so here's my nucleus and my. I like, nah, you can't be getting that. This one is the plant. And I seen them get through it. I see them trying to go over there. Okay. What about the shapes? Action, how you get in there. That's all. Oh, 
Circular. So animal cells will almost always be circular, and plant cells are almost always going to have this square rectangle. Look at these little green things right here. Yeah. Inside of a plant cell, what do we think the things are? Chloroplast. Chloroplast. And what do we do in the chloroplast? What process happens in the chloroplast? Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. What's this big thing, clear thing right here? You know, uh, a vacuum. Oh, good job. Why is it so big? It takes away all the stuff. It, what does a vacuum do? Does it take out the stuff that the the uh, the cell don't need? It provides. That's the lysosome. That's the lysosome that uh, works like the cell trash can. All right. So, what does your vacuum do? What does it store? And I'll give you a hint. It's something water. that actually needs what? Water. Water, right. So, it's so much bigger in plants than you cells simply because plants have to be able to have that water. Who is that? Mute your phone. I'm about to mute everybody. Hold on. Mute, mute. When you want to talk, just hit the space bar and it'll let you in, okay? All right. Thank y'all. All right. So it says organelles are found throughout both types of cells, whether it's a plant cell or an animal cell. They all contain these little organ like um, features, okay? You have the cell membrane, which covers the outside of the cell and lets things in and out. You have the cytoskeleton, which literally kind of works to help maintain the cell shape. I just want to highlight this. I don't want to hit a picture. Whatever. We have the nucleus, and we know that the main job of the nucleus is to be the control center and that it is going to store all of the DNA for the cell. We have our ribosomes, which are responsible for creating proteins. Actually, I'm going to go back and type that on here. Um, ribosomes make proteins, all right? Um, and you're going to see the ribosomes in two places. You're going to see them uh, free-floating in the cytoplasm, or you will see them attached to this organelle. Um, it is known as the rough endoplasmic reticulum or ER for short, because I'm just not gonna keep saying that over and over again, okay? So the rough ER is going to help make proteins and transport things throughout the cell, but the smooth ER, I'll see this, the smooth ER is going to help make lipids. What's the common name for a lipid? Does anybody remember? What is the common name for a lipid? I'll give you a hint, your choices are, Sugars or fats? Fats. Fats, good job. So the smooth ER is going to help make fats for the cell, whereas the rough ER is going to assist with making proteins. So if you're looking at your little picture up here, this one right here, right outside of the nucleus is going to be your rough ER. And then somewhere over here, you're going to find your smooth ER and your Golgi. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Stop. I'm gonna be honest with you. Don't this look a little bit like this if you're looking at a picture like this? Y'all see what I'm talking about? Like if I'm looking at this picture, how am I supposed to be able to tell the difference between this, this, and that? What do you do? How do you determine the difference? Uh one got circled. Right. So when you see the one that has the circles on it, identify it as the Golgi. Sometimes you guys are going to see it listed as the Golgi body. Sometimes you'll see it listed as the Golgi apparatus. But essentially how it works is anything that's made of the car is going to essentially package it up. Kind of like how... Um, the uh, post office works. It's going to modify it. It's going to sort it. It's going to put stuff in this bag, uh, this bag, and ship it off. It's never part of the cell. It's 
OG apparatus is to fix it up and send it where it needs to go. All right, next up, we got the mitochondria, which is the powerhouse of the cell. What process happens here? What process happens in the mitochondria? Cellular respiration. Cellular respiration, thank you. And last but not least, we have the lysosome, which is technically the cell trash can. Anything that the cell can no longer use, it's going to send it to the lysosome so it can be broken down, okay? All right, the three C's, the differences between the plant cells and animal cells. So these next three organelles are gonna be organelles that you only, only, only see in plant cells. First up, you have a cell wall. Why do plant cells have a cell wall and a cell membrane? Why do plant cells have a cell wall and a cell membrane? Why do they need two layers? Why do they need two layers? So your animal cell only has a cell membrane, but the plant cells have a cell membrane and a cell wall. Why do we think they need both of those structures? What do we know about plants? Can they get up and walk away? No. No. So to help give them that structure, to help give them that rigidity that we know so they can stand up in the ground, you're going to see that plant cells have those two layers of protection, okay? They have the cell wall and the cell membrane. We already talked a little bit earlier about the chloroplast. The chloroplast does what process for the plant? Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis, okay. I don't know why this don't say photosynthesis right here, but don't worry about it, I'm gonna type it. Photosynthesis. And last but not least, we have what is known as the central vacuole. So you see these in animal cells too, but the major difference is that they're really, really big in plant cells simply because plants have to be able to store that water. So if you're looking at this picture over here, notice how the vacuole is bigger than anything else that's inside of this plant cell. And that's because they need to have that water available for them at all times, okay? All right, so let's look. So according to this chart, you guys are supposed to determine what organelles are only found in prokaryotes, what organelles do you find in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes, and what organelles are only found in eukaryotic cells. So what I'm going to do, if you guys could just um, tell me what the answers are, I'll type them in, and then I will stop and give you guys time to write these down, okay? So first up, what are the organelles that we only find in prokaryotic cells. And remember, pro means no, so no nucleus. So what types of things will we see? If I was looking at this page, I'd be up here at the top looking for my answers, okay? Cytoplasm. Cytoplasm. What else? Uh, wait. Um, plasma membranes. Cell membrane slash plasma membrane, and I heard ribosomes. Hey, is that what I heard? Yeah. Oh, I got a question. Who said ribosomes? Me. Me. All right. Who said cell membrane? Oh, me, Kyla. Yeah. Who said cytoplasm? Me, Kyla. All right. Question: Are those things that are only found in prokaryotic cells? No, no. Where are they found? In um, eukaryotic uh, cells. Eukaryotic. Do I need to put those three in? Wait, what? Which column do I need to put these three in? Uh, the last one. This oh wait, no, 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 the middle one. All right. The only thing I'm going to write down over here on this side is I'm going to put the uh, nucleoid region, okay? Nucleoid, is that right? AKA, that's where the DNA is. All right, 
Let's go through this long list of eukaryotic organelles. What we got? Nucleus. Okay. Uh, what were some of the ones we just went over? Cytoplasm. Oh, you already got that one over here. Yeah. Wait, can you scroll back up to the yes, thing? Oh, a smooth ER? Yeah. And a Goji outro thingy? What you what's the other ER you missing? Uh Rough ER. Rough ER. Then you said the Goji, right? Yeah. I'm gonna write body slash apparatus, because I don't know which one you're gonna see asking the question. What else? Do you only see periodic? What were some of those other organelles listed up at the top? Uh, mitochondria. Uh huh. What else? Uh, lysosome. Lysosome. What about these? Cell wall. Chloroplast. Chloroplast. I cannot spell the word. Okay, guys. Take about a minute and a half to get these written down on your chart, okay? If you're doing this on notebook paper, that's fine. Just create a small little chart and make sure you don't have to draw. Okay. Okay. Give you a little bit of time to get this written down, and then we'll move on to our multiple choice questions at the bottom. All right, we good? Can I move on or y'all still need a little more time? All righty. I'm going to skip this one. All right. Question number one. Which of the following structures in the diagram below enables the observer to identify that it is a plant cell? Okay. So this question told you, back up a little bit. This question told you just by looking at this picture, you should know that this is a plant cell. Okay. What structures do we see that lets us know that it's a plant cell? What I would do first to answer this is identify the organelles, okay? What is number one pointing to? What organelle is this? The vacuole. The vacuole. 
What is number two pointing to? The nucleus. Okay. What is number three pointing to? Ribosomes. No, the wall. Yes, the cell wall. And what is number four pointing to? Mitochondria. Mitochondria, okay. So what this one, so one we said was vacuole. I can't spell. Two was the nucleus. Oh my goodness, nucleus. Three was the cell wall. And four was the mitochondria, okay? Now, based on that, which two are plant specific? Uh, the nucleus? nucleus. Huh? The nucleus? Nope. Cell wall. Cell wall and? Cell wall and large vacuole. And the large vacuole. So what's my answer? A. Uh, Why is it A, Jacob? Because large vacuole and cell wall, plant specific, one and three. Or, yeah, one and three are large Please. vacuole, cell wall. Thank you, sir. All right, so make sure you get that written down for number one, that the answer is A. The vacuole and the cell wall are the two structures in this picture that will allow you to identify it as a plant cell, okay? All right, number two. When a runner sprints, their muscles require a large amount of cellular energy. Based on this information, which organelle would be more abundant in a muscle cell than a skin cell? What's the hint in this question? What organelle are you looking for? An organelle that does what? What is this question asking us to do? And it gave me it's asking us which organelle um would uh, be more yeah, um, abundant in a muscle cell. Right. And so if it's a muscle cell, I need to have a lot of energy for my muscles to be able to do their job and move around and run, right? Mm -hmm. So which one of these organelles is responsible for giving me cellular energy? Uh, mitochondria. Mitochondria. Good job. What process happens there? Uh, What's the name of the process that happens in the mitochondria? Cellular respiration. Wait, is it that? Is it cellular respiration? Thank you. What happens? What process happens on the ribosome? Um. I don't remember. What process happens on the ribosome? What do the ribosomes make for the cell? Um, protein. Wait, make protein. Right. protein synthesis. Specifically, the process is translation. Remember when you got to use the codon chart? Yeah. That's this. That's happening here on the ribosome. What process happens on the chloroplast? Um, photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. And what's in the nucleus? DNA. Wait, DNA. DNA, DNA control. All right. I just wanted to make sure you guys had all this down. I'm trying to go over the organelles now because on our next worksheet, you're going to be doing something else with the organelles, okay? All right. Plant cells contain structures that carry out specialized energy transfer functions that animal cells do not carry out. Which of the following structures carries out this specialized function in plant cells? Okay, so it says plants care, contain structures that carry out specialized energy transfer functions that animal cells do not. What process are they talking about? Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis, so what's the answer to number three? B. B. Thank you. What does the lysosome do? Um, it like carries out. Cleans the cell. And what does the central vacuole do? 
provide water. Alrighty, you like it? I love it. All right, so is everybody good with this worksheet? Yes. To the next one. So, do, 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 do. Plant versus animal cells. We already went over um, a lot of this stuff on the last page, so I'm not going to bore you with reading through this stuff again. Um, if you still have the other page up, great. You can use it to help you answer the stuff on this one okay so question number one says list three wait which one's this this one oh i'm sorry let me go back i apologize if you're on the weebly page this is the plant versus animal page All right. this one right here okay i apologize Thanks. plant versus animal page All right, so question number one, you just did this on the last page, so you shouldn't have any issues with answering on this one. It says, list three similarities and three differences between prokaryotes and eukaryotes. So if this is me, I'm just gonna go back and look right, uh -oh, right here at this chart, okay? So I need three similarities and three differences between prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. So give me three similarities between the two. Cytoplasm. Uh, ribosome. And... Cell membrane. What? Cell membrane. There we go. Yeah. Give me some differences. I just need three. Nucleus. Nucleus. Vacuum and vacuole. So wool. Works for me. All right. It says for number two, for each of the cell organelles listed, create an analogy for its function. All right. Here's what I want you guys to do for number two. I want you to do it. I do not want you to do it on this paper. Everybody hear what I just said? Everybody hear what I just said? Yes, no, maybe so? No. I said I want you to do number two, but you are not going to do it on your worksheet, okay? So okay. Somebody tell me what is an analogy. I know you guys used to have to do these in English. Tell me, what's an analogy? Okay, hey, know? No. No? What do you mean, no? It's like something that, um, that you can compare something to? Yes, okay. So, it says, for each of the organelles listed below, create an analogy for its function. For instance, the nucleus manages and directs the cell. So it is like a principal managing a school, okay? So because Dr. Buff is the one who runs the whole school, she's the command center of our school, she would be considered the nucleus for our analogy here, okay? Instead of you guys completing this chart using the analogy, I want you to, at some point today, go and find two organelles in your house that's compared to something on this list, okay? So for example, and I'm gonna steal this one, so you can't do this one, okay? The lysosome, if this is me, I'm gonna go take a picture of the trash can in my house and post it as my organelle. Do y'all understand what I want you to do? I feel like yes. You sure you understand what you want me to do, what I want you to do? So we have to take a picture? 
All right, so I'm gonna know what your organelle is. Take a picture and upload it and tag me in it on Instagram, okay? If you don't wanna do that, complete the chart. Okay. This is yours, okay? So the option is do the chart or go find two organelle analogies in your home, okay? So you can find me some ribosomes. You're looking for anything that makes proteins. You're looking for anything that would carry proteins. You're looking for anything that's going to be energy for your mitochondria. You're looking for, if you got a house plant, you could use that for photosynthesis. Um, collect, collects, packages, and distributes proteins. You could be looking at your mailbox for the Golgi. That's what I want from you guys. I want you to go around your house and find analogies for these different organelles. You only have to do two. Post them and tag bio bosses for me on Instagram, okay? Can you guys do that for me? Yeah. All right. Uh, and I'm also going to write a, a post for you guys to go and do that. Again, make sure you tag me. And then I'll go back and um, shout it out on our pages story, okay? So to finish up this worksheet, all you really had to do was number one, and then we're going to do three, four, and five, and that's it, okay? So let's take a look. Number three, we did not go over cell membranes. So skip number three, because we're going to do cell membrane next week, okay? You really just got to do one, four, and five. Because I don't want to get into active and passive transport. That's a lesson all on its own. So we're not going to do this question today, okay? Number four, which cell structure is correctly paired with its primary function? The ribosome? A. Why is it A? Um, cause protein synthesis is the process that, um, ribosome is in, I think. Yep. That's where protein synthesis happens is on the ribosome. What happens yeah. to the mitochondria? Um, is it, um, what process happens on the mitochondria? Cellular respiration. Mm -hmm. What's stored inside of the vacuole? Um, water. Mm -hmm. And what's inside of the nucleus? DNA. DNA. Thanks. All right, let's move to number five. Which of these best completes this concept map? Okay, so we're trying to figure out what type of cell has all of these characteristics, okay? So it says, is surrounded by a rigid coat of cellulose, contains mitochondria and chloroplasts, and it has a well-defined nuclear membrane and DNA. So is this an animal cell, a prokaryotic cell, a virus, or a plant cell? A plant cell? Why? And how do you know? Oh, wait. Let me see. Is it a plant cell? Because of chloroplasts? Because the chloroplast oh. and um, and a rigid coat of cellulose. Rigid coat of cellulose. It's talking about the cell wall. Okay. So again, guys, when you turn in this worksheet, as long as you do your post on Instagram and you give me two organelles, the only thing you should have answered is number one, number four, and number five. This is an easy assignment grade. Okay, guys. Do you guys have any other questions or you need anything uh -oh, or you need anything else from me? No. Great. I don't even know who's on here. Let's see. Hey, y'all. I have no idea who this is, but hey, y'all. Stop. Hey. All right, guys, um, I will go live again with you on either Monday or Tuesday of next week. We're going to be covering cell membrane and we'll do cell membrane to finish the cells. And then I think we're going back into evolution and natural selection as a review. 
Um, so again, if you guys need help with anything, if you can't submit your stuff on Canvas, if you um, are struggling to find the assignments, please feel free to email me, message me on Ramon or DM me on Instagram. Please, please, please do your organelle picture post for me today. I'm actually getting ready to go post mine before I start my anatomy class. Um, I love you guys. Be great. Wash your hands. Stay safe. Miss Bull. Yeah, what's up? Uh, do you know what time it'll be at? On Tuesday? If it's on Monday, uh, do you know what time? Uh, I'm trying to do it sometime in between 10.30 and 11. When are y'all other teachers on? Uh, my math teacher's on from 1 to 1.30, and usually Mr. Parker's on, I think, Too. Does this time work? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll stay. I'll stay around yes. this time frame, man. Ms. Ball, say, somehow yes. change it. Did you ask? Did you ask about the testing? Um, as of now, everything is suspended, and that's all I know. I don't know if um they're still going to require you to take like a class final. But what I do know is the official biology EOC has been suspended. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No problem. I'll see you guys next week. I love you. Be great. How do I end this? Stoop.